Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we will see a practical example of protected routes in React. And that means we need to ensure that only logged in users can access certain components in our application, which may contain private user information. So if this sounds interesting, then stick around. Also, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. So let's get started. Alright guys, so I have already bootstrapped the React application and I have removed all the unwanted files that I don't want for this project. Let me give you a quick walkthrough of the project structure that I have. So I have a folder for the pages where I'm going to create different pages and inside that I already created three pages, a home component, a account component and a cards component. And all these components are a simple React component which display a simple message that you are on a home page. For the accounts, it displays some information related to the account and for the card, it shows some message. So what we are going to do is uh, I have also installed the React Router Dome package so that we can have routing in our application. So if you don't know about the React Router Dome, I have a complete tutorial on the React Router with a project. You can click on the card above and jump to it directly. So let's go to our app.js and inside the app.js I simply have a h2 which says the protected routes tutorial. So first we will simply going to create some routes and we will test it and then we are going to proceed with the protected routes that how we can protect the routes. So what I will do I will import the browser router as router. I will also import the route. I will import the switch and I will also import the link and all this will be coming from the react router dome. So I'm going to write react router dome. All right. Next we will do is we are going to create the route here. So let me add the router and inside this I'm going to create the route so that route will have a path and the path will be slash and when it is a slash I need to have a, a component render that is my home component. And I'm going to also add the switch. So let me add the switch as well. And inside the switch, I'm going to add my route. All right. And let me copy paste for my account and card as well. So when it goes to the accounts and it will become cards. And when we have the accounts, we need to load the account component. And if we are on the cards then we need to load the cards component all right so we have all the three and i'm going to add the exact here and now let's import these components so i will go here and i'm going to do an import home from so this will be coming from pages and inside the pages i'm going to have the home component all right, and I'm going to add the home component here as well. So I will have to change this as well as for the home component. All right, and now let's import the accounts. So I'm going to write the accounts component and that will be coming from the pages and inside the pages we have the account component and the last one is the card component. So let me add the cards component. This will be coming from the slash pages and then we have the cards component. So all right. So now we have all the three component and if we want to test it, then we can see that if we are on a slash, we see that you are on a home page and now let's go to the accounts. And if I hit enter, then you see that you are now logged in, which is a wrong message. Uh, and then you have uh, your account balances uh, something X amount. And the third one is the cards. So we can test that as well. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add the cards. This is a not protected route. So now what we will do is we are not going to navigate from one page to another with the help of the uh, manipulating the browser URL. So what I will do, I'm going to create the list. So let me add the list and inside the list, I'm going to have an li and then I'm going to use the link and this link will be, it will go to the slash. And when we are on the home page, all right, and I will just simply copy paste two more times and it will go to the account. So I'm going to add the accounts here 
and for the cards i'm going to add the cards here and get changed to cards and what we want is and this will change to the account so i'm going to write the accounts here all right so now we have the home we have the accounts and we have the cards but what we are going to achieve is we need that uh, for the home and for the cards it's fine there's no private information we can see here but when we click on the cards we see the balance of a user and we want that only logged in users will be able to see this balance so we need to make this route which is the accounts as a protected route and that can only be accessed if a particular user is logged in so what i will do i'm just going to add here as protected so that we know that this will be a protected route and for this i'm going to add a unprotected that this will be an unprotected route and in order to do this protected route and unprotected route we don't have ready made uh, from the uh, react router dome as something like that you have a, a component which is a protected route for that we need to create a component so let's create a protected route component so i will go to my source and i'm going to create a new file and this file will be the protected routes.js all right it will be just protected route all right so now we have the protected file and let's write the component so i'm going to import react from react i have missed the r so let me add the r okay and then what i will do i'm going to import the route which i want to be a protected route and then i'm also do a redirect so whenever a user is logged in it will be able to go to the protected route but if it's not logged in then i want to redirect the user back to the home page so that's why i'm using a redirect here and this will be coming from the react router dome all right and then i'm going to write a constant and this will be a protected route and this will be an arrow function and then we are just going to export this protected route so i'm going to write export default protected route all right but what we will do is here whenever we have this protected route it is going to take some props and i'm going to destructure those props so first thing i need is the auth status that what is the authentication status is the user logged in or a logged out so that i will pass the auth based on the user status what component i need to render so for that i'm going to write a component and this will take a component all right and then i'm going to add the rest and i will just show you in a minute that what is this rest is because whenever you have a route so let's say you have this route now this route has a component which you take a component as component this is the auth we, we are going to pass a prop in a particular route but then the rest will be all those information that other than these like the path because whenever you have a route you also have a path prop on it so this rest will take all the rest of the props that are available on a particular route all right so now we have the props and inside the props what we will do is we are going to return a route so i will return a route from here and i will return a route from here so i am returning a route and what i want that this route should have all the props that is available in this rest so let's add the props here so first i will do the dot 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 and rest so that all the props available on a particular route we get it and once we get then we have a render prop on the route so i will add the render and here i want to show that which component i want to render so i will take the props as a argument all right and once i have it then here i can write all my logic based on my authentication status so what we will do is that we will check that if this auth is true then i want to return the component whatever the component i have so i'm going to copy this component and i'm going to add the component here all right and i will just give all the props which this component have so i will add the props here okay now what happens that if this authentication status is not true then in that case what i will do i will write if this auth is not equal to true then i just want to return the particular user to home page so for that i will do a redirect and this redirect will take a two and inside this two i will add the path so let me add the path and the path for the home page is slash 
and apart from that we can also pass the status that from which page this particular user is getting redirected so in our case the user is getting redirected back to the home page from the accounts page so for that what we can do we can pass the state and the value of the state you will get that from and inside the from you can have props.location and this prop.location will actually give us the location from which page you have been redirected back to the home page so for us it will be the slash accounts all right so we have written the protected routes component now we need to see that how we can use this component so what i will do is i will go to my app.js and inside the app.js i'm going to import my route protected route so i will have the protected route and this will be coming from the slash protected route all right so now i have the protected routes and now let's try and use it here so what i will do is i want to protect my account route so i will just cut this from here all right and i will just add it in the last so i will add it here so i'm going to write the protected route and this protected route will have a path so for our in our case the path will be slash accounts and when it is accounts what component you want to render so for us the component we want to render is the uh, accounts component so let me add the accounts component here all right but we also need to pass the auth status so what i will do for now is i'm going to simply pass the auth and this auth will be equals to true so let me add a true here all right so now I have added the auth as true so now it will go and check that if the auth is true then it will render the components so let's try right now i'm on the home page if i click on the accounts i'm able to see the accounts if i click on the cards i'm able to see the cards so let's go and try and change this to false now so i may change this to false and i will save it all right so now i am on the cards so if i click on the accounts then you will see that i am going to the home page and not the account page if i click on the home page so now if i click on the accounts i will not be able to go to the accounts if i go to the cards and homes I, it works fine but the accounts is now protected so what we will do is we are going to add two buttons for the login and the logout and we are going to make the a little bit of fake login functionality so for that i will create a custom hook so if you don't know about custom hook i have a video on it you can click on the card above and jump to it directly but anyway if you don't know that's fine we are going to write our own custom hook for the uh, fake authentication so let's quickly write a custom hook for the authentication so i'm going to write a use state so we need a use state and this will be coming from a react all right and then i'm just going to do an export default i'm going to write a function and our hook name will be the use auth and this use auth will take the initial value all right and then i'm going to write a constant as is auth and this will be set auth so it's it's a simple uh the state i am using so i need a state variable and i'm going to make use of a use state for this and whatever the initial value i pass it i will give the value to here all right and this uh, custom hook will return three things first one it will return the auth status what is the auth status second one it is return the login and third one it will return the logout function all right so let's write a login and the logout function so i'm going to write a login function and inside the login function i'm going to do a set timeout so that we can see a little bit of uh, delay in doing the login and logout and this will become thousand so what we will do we are going to just do a set is auth as true whenever we have a user is logged in and for the logout function i'm simply going to copy and add it here so this will become logout and this will become false all right so we have written a quickly a custom hook for our authentication now let's go to the app js and use this authentication so here what i will do i'm going to write a constant and what i will have i will have the is auth all right then i will have a login then i will have a logout and all this will be coming from the is use auth and the initial will be the user is not logged in so i'm going to write a initial value as false all right now we need to pass this auth here so let's add the auth here so is auth 
And now based on this is odd, whether it's a true or false, it's going to do the protected route. It will either route to the component or it's going to redirect back. All right. And now we need a login and a logout button. So what I will do, I will go here and I will write here a condition that if it's an is auth, if it's true, then I need some JSX. And if it's false, then I need some other JSX. So I'm going to have a empty fragment. All right. And inside this empty fragment, I'm going to write a div with a class name UI message Brown. And here I'm going to add that you are logged in. All right. And then I'm going to add a button here. So let me add a button with a class name of. So I'm going to. So let me close this so that we can see what I am doing. Okay. And this will be the button. And here I'm going to give a class as UI button. Do. So I'm using the semantic UI so that I don't need to write the CSS and inside this I'm going to add the log out. So this was my log out button and now let's do a, a simple copy paste of this for the other button as well. So I'm just going to do a copy of this and I'm going to paste it here and this log out will change to the login. All right, and then I'm just going to change the message here. So the message will be so I'm going to change this to Violet and the message will be here as logged out. All right, so I have everything now and we have done it. We have added the condition here as well. So now we have the login button and what we will do is now if I click on the home, we are on the home. If we click on the accounts, we don't go to the accounts. If we click on the cards, then we go to the cards. And if I click on the login, uh, nothing is happening. So I think we have missed the function calling. So let's go to our button. And on the button, we are going to write the on click. And we are going to add the logout here. And similarly, we are going to add the login on the other button. So let's go here and let's add the login. And let's change this to login. All right, so now we have the login and the logout functionality. Let's refresh the page once. And now if I click on the home, we are on the home. We cannot go to the accounts. We click on the cards. We can go to the cards because it's a non protected route. And now if I click on the login, then we are now logged in. You can see that we are logged in and we have a logout button. Now if I click on the accounts, we can see the accounts. And if we go to all other routes, we will be able to go to the all other routes. Let's go to the logout. So I have logged out and now if I try to access, I won't be able to access. So this is how you can actually create the protected route in react JS. So that's all I have in this video. I hope this topic is a useful topic when you actually create the react application where you want to protect the users to access the private information uh, without being authenticated. So I hope you like the video. A thumbs up is appreciated. You can also connect with me via Facebook or Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter for latest update and I will also add the GitHub link for this code so that you can download it and you can play around with it. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. Thank you. Thanks for watching.